nerds, it's me here, Daniel, again, here to talk to you a little more in depth about that season eight, episode one recap. Um, this section, I think I'm going to be talking a little more about Braun, my boy Braun, because that one scene he's in almost stole the show. I mean, if it wasn't for Samuel Tarly, no, that's that scene would probably stole the show for me. I mean, top three at least, like the uh, Ned Umber scene. Uh, Sam Altarley scene, Braun scene, pretty awesome. Uh, so just a few things to talk about the Braun scene. Um, with my handy dandy notebook. <laughs> um, my main question is, will you guys think he will even survive this? Um, he kind of seems like a shell of himself at, at some point. Uh, because when we first meet him in season one, he is all about the women, all about the fighting, all about the gold. And now, in that one little scene, he seems to not even care for women. I mean, he seems like he wants to still care about getting some, but he's pretty bored of it now. And even when they off, when um, Kyron offers him three, uh, what is it, caches of um, gold, outside waiting for him, he doesn't even blink an eye. I mean, he's just like, cool, awesome, more gold that I'm gonna spend. And the fighting, I mean, if he wanted to fight, he would be up north. Um, he would have chose the other side, I think, um, with Tyrion. And maybe even, you would have thought maybe Jamie had gone with him, but yeah, they, he just isn't really feeling it anymore, it's just, it was sad just kind of seeing them not really loving women. <laughs> that was kind of, eh. But, to each your own. Um, and then, the offer that he gets to kill the Lannister men. Two, one crossbow, two men. One person wants revenge. And the way he just, um, the way he looks at Kyber and like, and then says, that freaking family, man. It's like, they got some issues, and it generally always starts with uh, Cersei. But, you know what? I, I'm i wondering if he'll even go through with it, which don't really think he will. I think he's gonna um, either A, totally just switch sides and go to um, Jamie and Tyrion and just get out of there as soon as possible, or he's gonna flip the script and just... Um, Cersei instead. I mean, in real life they hate each other, so wouldn't that be a poetic ending? Ha <laughs> um, But yeah, they do hate each other in real life. I mean, I guess that's what dating happens. <laughs> um, oh, a little side note though. The comment that the, the one girl makes uh, that's writing him <laughs> says, uh, she says, Eddie the Ginger? Um, he got his eyelids burned off. And if you guys remember last season, we had a um, Lannister soldier who uh, the actual main person's call it was Ed Shireen, and he is a quite a bit of a ginger. Um, I think they were probably talking about him, and if that's so, that's not even the worst thing that even happened to someone in Game of Thrones, so you probably got a pretty easy Ed Shireen. like, that's probably the only way we could all be satisfied with how your way ended. Um, so, next, uh, is if and when he survives, because I think he's gonna survive, um, what castle are they gonna give him? Because you got Hightower, um, you got, oh sorry, High Garden. Uh, you got Casterly Rock, which I don't think any of the Lannisters really wanted anymore anyways. Um, you have a couple places in the north now, like Lost Hearth. Um, oh, man, just uproot those Glovers and put him in there. Boom. Yeah, screw you Glovers. And then, um, maybe just he'll go off to Essos with the Golden Company and be a sellsword and ball out because that's what Bronn tends to do. Uh, yeah, I just think he's bored of 
the current situation that he's in at this point, and that's that's pretty sad because that guy is pretty awesome, and he's he, he's been an amazing character all the way through. I mean, season five is pretty boring with um, Jamie, but he's picked it up quite a bit. I mean, from beginning to end, he's been one of my favorite characters. So, um, yeah, the that whole offering him gold to kill two of his favorite guys that he ever has hung out with, I don't think it's going to work out for her because she has never ever done anything like for him at all. And she didn't even go up to him personally to ask him. She had his little, her little manservant go up and ask him, like, really? You're going to go out and do that? I don't think Braun respects that very much. And then just the main thing of Tyrion always telling him, whatever they pay you, I'll pay double. And honestly, if I heard that, probably I would choose that side because, man, that's a good offer. But um, I think Braun just likes the boy Lannisters too much, or the guy Lannisters. That sounds so terrible, boy Lannisters. The men Lannisters, he likes them as people way more than he likes ever could like Cersei. So I think that could be where the direction they're going to go with him is is he's just going to switch sides and and leave but i hope it's a little more in depth and he has a little more story arc to him in this this season because he's always just kind of been a fighter and a cell sword so i think this um this season he needs to have a real story arc where he finishes different than how he um started but we'll see um but yeah, that's all I got for Braun today because his um, his scene was pretty short and pretty quick, but it was pretty on point for who he is. So let me know what you guys think in the comments of what you think will happen to Braun this season and if you think he will even survive. Give a like on this video if you enjoyed it and probably don't dislike it, but always subscribe, hit the bell so you can always get the new videos and I'll always feel the love. Thank you guys. Bye.